I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Falca, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading. Now, Capricorn, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Capricorn, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Capricorn, and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Capricorn, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they resonate with you because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. And then also, I would really appreciate it, Capricorn, for you to give me a like and subscribe if you do find a card that resonates because it does help out my channel a lot. And always I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Capricorn, this reading here is just to give you some perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week. I'm not here to live your life. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life because it's your life to live, not mine. So with all that being said, let's start getting into your reading now, Capricorn. Now I pulled some general energy cards for you. I pulled two tarot cards, but I'm also going, I feel inclined to do a, um, I guess you get two moon cards because that's what came out. So Capricorn, the two moon cards, we'll address that first, is, are the, a new, <laughs> a new romantic cycle begins with the new moon in Libra. Come on now, Capricorn. This is definitely a coming, and it makes sense looking at these cards. Uh, but yeah, new, a new romantic cycle begins for you, Capricorn. Very good outlook on this. And it's time to, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Now, right off the bat, Capricorn, this is probably addressing somebody from the past, someone that maybe, maybe on either side, you know, I'm speaking in terms of you, you, because I'm only speaking to you, Capricorn, but it does seem to be as like a, perhaps a new romantic cycle doesn't begin for you, Capricorn, until you, some type of negativity is released probably from the other side, right? So the two tarot cards that we have for you as well, Capricorn, are the Fool card, the Fool card, beautiful card to have. This is definitely a risk-taking energy, a risk-taking card, Capricorn. So perhaps when it comes to this new romantic cycle with this person, you feel like you're probably going to have to take a risk when it comes to them. You'd probably, you might view it as a risk of releasing negativity and probably forgiving them, right? Because that's in essence what it means, right? When the full moon in Scorpio says this time to release negativity is essentially just forgiving them if there is something to forgive Capricorn. So definitely with this full energy though coming in, there is, it, because it's the general message of things, Capricorn, one can just conclude that it's the energy that you want to strive to. It's the energy that would be best case scenario. But um, but and it also follows with this Queen of Wands. So similar in the sense of forward movement, similar in the sense of functioning off of passion, what it is that you're feeling inside, because the Fool is a very passionate person. Granted, in this deck, it don't, the Fool don't look like no type of passion in anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, Queen of Wands is just forward movement, definitely a calling to listen to some of your guys, Capricorn. Um, with that eagle I don't know if it's an eagle, it might be a falcon, actually. Um, but yeah, honoring what you're feeling, right? And this makes more sense in your reading once we get into your actual tarot side of things, Capricorn. Now, I pulled a card for you, Capricorn, on your side. I pulled a card for them. I pulled a card for the energy between y'all two. And then I'll pull clarifiers after. But let's talk about the first initial cards that I pulled for y'all. On your side, Capricorn, we have the Seven of Cups coming in for you. So a decision needing to be made. Dare I say, if especially if this person pursues you, which judging by their card, uh, which you'll see in a moment, Capricorn, it probably is them pursuing you and leaving you up with a decision needing to be made of like what it is that what cup it is that you want to choose. Where, how do you want your life to be? You know, it's a big decision, right? Uh, this is like probably an energy of probably someone feeling a little bit overwhelmed, 
definitely someone who's feeling overwhelmed. Seven of Swords, try to come out. Capricorn, so you definitely are feeling overwhelmed um, because you probably are afraid of committing to this person for whatever reason. Maybe they messed up in the past, right? Definitely, if it is that case, it's very similar to Taurus's reading Capricorn in that perspective. And it is also seemingly to be that way as well because they do have the chariot card coming in on their side, right? Because in the Taurus reading, the case spoke as if someone was pursuing them as well, coming back, trying to come back into their life. And with this chariot card, whether it's for someone from the past or someone that's just current that you're hoping that pursues you, this chariot card is fast forward movement on the right path towards you. Right? I guess that's presumptuous of me to say that it's like on the right path towards you, but you know, it seems, seems to be this is like the best case scenario because um, spirit wouldn't bring forth the chariot if they weren't on the right path. And it does seem to be, because of this reading, forward movement towards you, right? We have the Four of Cups as the energy between y'all two. So, um, you could take this in a few ways, Capricorn. You could take this as a way of, like, they're realizing what the opportunity that they missed with you or are, are missing with you, Capricorn, and they are waking up towards that and then pursuing you, going after you at that point. Or you could take this as a way of like, and I'm kind of leaning towards this way more, uh, Capricorn, where it's like, if you, especially with the decisions needing to be made, it's giving me this impression of kind of staying blind um, to, a cup being offered. It's almost like not wanting to acknowledge the obvious, perhaps. Or maybe it isn't obvious, but there does seem to be like a cup that you're not considering for whatever reason, right? We'll know with clarifiers, of course, Capricorn, and we're going to start with your side of things with that seven of cups. All right, let's see what's going on here. So Capricorn, you have the Six of Swords. So this is definitely speaking of a connection that you probably walked away from, probably, or at one point given hope on at least, right? This is definitely why it's like such a complex decision because perhaps for some of you Capricorns, you're just like, wait a minute, right? Why are you now deciding to come into my life, similar to Taurus's, where it's just like, why are you now making this decision when I had to make the decision to walk away from this when I didn't want to in the first place. And that's why it's probably throwing you for a loop and it's not just such a cut and dry situation where you just receive them, right, Capricorn? There's definitely some type of history here, definitely some type of, um, some stuff that might need closure that you never got closure on from before, Capricorn. Two of Wands. A lot of reflecting energy. It makes sense to have that with that Seven of Cups pairing, right? Because Two of Wands, you're looking at this individual, they're holding the world in their hands. They're considering their game plan, right? I also kind of just want to point out where, where while <laughs> Two of Wands is generally a pretty good card to have, um, this is an individual who's just doing a lot of thinking and not a lot of making a decision, right? And I only point this out, Capricorn, just because of the fact that you do have that Seven of Cups, which does kind of hint at a little bit of an indecision because you're considering probably a little bit too many options. Some of you Capricorns might be overthinking a little bit is something that I'm getting. So we have the Queen of Wands coming in as well. Queen of Wands is following you, Capricorn. Probably this is a sense you probably got a level of where you're just like you're completely content with being alone you're just like you know what if i'm not gonna have my partner in crime if i'm not going to have that support system with this person you're moving on but now um you put for a loop right because the queen of wands is someone who is content with being alone right and just following their passion right you probably had different focuses and now that you have to reconsider this and think about this now when you weren't thinking about that before it's just a lot for you to process right i can't imagine Ten of Wands, because this has been weighing heavy on you, right? This was such a baggage that you probably took so long to let go of and to probably break free of on some level, Capricorn. And it's letting me know that it's just like, this wasn't easy for you. And now, because of it, it's just weighing on your heart. It's weighing heavy, just really weighing heavy on you, Capricorn. So I hope uh, me talking about those cards didn't speak and come off in such a way that I wasn't seeing it and like um 
being judgmental, I guess, of your side of things. Because I get it, I really do. Uh, back of the deck energy though, chariot card. You, someone is coming straight towards you, Capricorn. I do see this as person, <laughs> truly, uh, truly. It's, it's, I love how these cards are just uh, panning out to be. It, this is such a beautiful storyline. I know it's your life, Capricorn, and I hope I'm not coming off as rude, but it just, it's such a beautiful storyline. I appreciate it's, uh, I appreciate this so much. You can make a, you can make a romantic movie out of it, I feel. So we're pulling clarifiers now for their chariot card. Um, Capricorn, ten of, or nine of cups coming in for them. So they are in this place of realizing that their happiness resides with you. Again, similar to Capricorns, very fascinating. Um, similar, but in different cards and a different reasoning, I guess. So with that chariot card, um, they're realizing that their happiness resides with you. And that's why they're going forward towards you. And that's why you even had the chariot card as your back of the deck energy, Capricorn. You're definitely being pursued. I also just feel the need, because I am being told this, to pull a card for you, a Necronomicon card for you. We pulled the Hierophant. The Hierophant, and this is for your side of things, still ha um, Capricorn, not for them, even though I know I was stuck. I'm sorry for jumping. Um, Hierophant, though, does re uh, represent connecting to your higher self. It also talks about higher commitment. Capricorn, maybe you, if this is, person is already relevant in your life, they're probably going to speak to you in some type of wanting further commitment. Maybe just having pop in the question of who are we? What are we? Um, all those deep questions. Interesting. And then makes more sense now with these clarifiers because we pulled the lover's card to them. This is what's on their mind, <laughs> Capricorn. This is what is on their mind it is you. And they realize that it is you that they want, right? They, it is you that they want to grow with, right? It is you that they associate their happiness with, Capricorn. And it's because it's almost like they just appreciate your energy so much and just see the impact that you have um, and just you and just on their heart in the matters of emotions, Capricorn. That's why they just feel so passionately coming to it. Just feels like it's such a strong forward movement towards you. Three of Wands comes in for them as well. Funny how you had that two of Wands, didn't you, Capricorn? You did, and they have the Three of Wands. It's like they're coming at you and bringing a wand with you. It does definitely come off in just such a storyline of someone coming forward to you, bringing forth like higher commitment. Let's pull a Necronomicon card for them as well. <sighs> Come on now, Capricorn. Four of Wands. This is definitely... 11-11 card. This is definitely an energy of two people really coming together. An energy that's a really strong connection. Now I know in the Necronomicon it doesn't look all that romantic and lovely because it's a lizard um, connecting with a human. But... Um, it is one of those things that you can appreciate the beauty of that storyline too, where it's just like seemingly against all odds, seemingly like the most unfortunate pairing or the impossible pairing ever. It's those two that actually fall the deepest in love. Beautiful. Let's get into this four cups to close out your reading, Capricorn. See what's up with that. Okay. Oh. Excuse me as I get that. Ugh. Apologize, Capricorn. King of Cups is what flew out. Ace of Cups as well. A lot of Cups energy. This is definitely an energy of two people coming together in terms of higher commitment. Um, when it's in relation of that Four of Cups though, Capricorn, it does seem to be someone might be missing this potential of a connection, right? Someone might turn a blind eye towards this because they gave it a chance before or they tried to make it work before and it just didn't or perhaps you just don't see the potential in this Capricorn and so you might turn a blind eye towards it but I just do see this King of Cups as them gender regardless Ace of Cups bringing forward their cup really wanting to bring forth such a happy connection with you um, bring forth just a lot of happiness towards you that's a lot of what they want to bring towards you in Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles, I do see communication happening. They really just want to extend a lot towards you. Two aces in the reading, um, right, on, together like this too. It's an affirmation for a kind of, like, forward movement and just the go-ahead of doing something, right? 
Wheel of Fortune, back of the deck energy, Capricorn. Yeah, this is such an energy, Capricorn, where it's like someone prob probably being afraid of opening up again towards a person for, or just someone just opening up in general to an energy. Maybe they don't feel like they're ready to connect or have that deep connection yet. Or maybe just the idea of commitment and big decisions just intimidate the Capricorn, right? We have the Five of Cups coming in, as well as the Seven of Cups, again, with decisions, man, with the Death card and the Queen of Swords. Mm. Someone did, and I do feel like this is you, Capricorn, with this Five of Cups. I do see this as like an energy of where you can, there's something on your mind when it comes to this person that makes it hard for you to open up to them or connect with them. It's something that you keep on focusing on that's just like, uh, I don't know, that you kind of have are driven towards like put, cutting this off and being like, this isn't for me, right? There is some type of resistance here, right? Queen of Swords, you want to, your guard is definitely up, right? You definitely have a lot about like, yeah, your guard is definitely up with this person, um, but the Seven of Cups follows you, just signifying, again, like, the need for a decision, the need to not over-contemplate that decision as well, just the need to make a choice. Um, a lot of choice is going to be presented towards you, a lot of just things coming towards you, Capricorn, and I hope you're ready. But, um, yeah, Capricorn, it's the reading that I have for you. I hope this was a resonance in some type of way. If it was, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. Be sure to share with me what card called out to you the most in the comments below, Capricorn. And then share this video with a friend if you think you know someone that might be into my messages. Until next time, Capricorn, I love you so much.